Hello and welcome to another episode of Cropland Genetics Agri Solutions Crop Cam. I'm Mark Oman, Seed and Agronomy Advisor. Today with me I have Dustin Nagebauer from New Vision Co-op in Worthington. Uh, recent couple days we had a lot of wind in the area. A strong south wind uh, damaged a lot of corn and soybean fields. So uh, today we're here in a corn field and looking at what happened, what's going to come out of that corn plant, and the potential uh, options that a grower may need to face. Uh, just to refresh everybody's memory, uh, we dug up a few plants here. We dissected one and dug another. Uh, we have the seedling along with the, the root system below it, and you can already see there's two roots coming out of that nodal root system. And like we mentioned in a previous episode, you take the length of the mesocotyl, which is from the seed to this node, and add three quarters of an inch, and that was your planting depth. So the planting depth was probably around here. Now above ground portion of the plant is very tattered, uh, beaten up, but that growing point is still below ground. And we've cut and dissected this one. You can actually cut open and see different leaves going backwards in V stages that will come up through the soil line. And it's all about R to the seventh, understanding the crop production. And if you see some examples here, we've definitely got very tattered uh, corn plants. And you know, they're not buggy whipped, they're knotted up, they're just basically mowed off. And we've done some research in our answer plot a few years ago where we actually mowed off with a hand trimmer. Every three days we went off and mowed another row of the same hybrid. And until V6, we did not kill the growing point. And the rows that did not die were no statistical difference in yield data. So it does not look good. Uh, it's definitely something to be cautious on and keep an eye on. But at this time, we do not want to replant, okay? Growing point's still going to come through. It's still look good in a handful of days. But, Dusty, the thing I want to ask you is, if a grower would want to replant today, obviously this field was planted three and a half weeks ago, uh, is there a potential for yield loss by starting with a later planting date? Yeah, there sure is, Mark. Um, you know, we're looking today at the 21st of May. Um, university data will show us that uh, you're probably going to get about a 8 to 15 percent yield decrease uh, by replanting at this time. So that's always something to keep in mind and, and weigh in your options. Uh, definitely the maturity of this corn has not changed. The yield potential statistically has not changed yet either. But by tearing up and starting over, you may set yourself back with some uh, yield potential come harvest time. Uh, and with that, this wraps up another episode of the Cropland Genetics Agri Solutions Crop Cam.